What's up everybody, it's your favorite Outlaws, favorite nerd, and today we are looking at Marvel Legends, Guardians of the Galaxy, Star-Lord, Nova, and Iron Man. I was really looking forward to these guys, I actually ran into a little bit of BBTS drama, if you have the, uh, if you have the time, I'll tell you a story. Pre-ordered them f fairly early on, I got a buddy of mine, Deluxe, who got his in-stock notice, it was processing, and etc, cetera, etc, cetera, and then his shipped still mine sitting in the pre-ordered status a couple weeks go by still sitting in the pre-ordered status so i start hunting losing faith and the other day i was sitting at home and i was like you know what just for and giggles i'm going to take a look at some online retailers so first stop i went to was target.com and they had them all and i think at least two of them were on sale so all's well that ends well pre-ordered canceled gotten at a pretty decent price. The reason why I think I got them at a pretty decent price is because my first impressions of them were that they were really like flimsy and the plastic seemed really soft. It doesn't mean that it's not without its charms, but ooh, I don't know. What we're going to do is just go into into each one. What I am surprised about is how they flew off the shelves. You know, it seemed like the first shipments of these guys flew out of the stores. And for characters that are hardly known, it is reassuring that this genre of film is, is definitely going to stick around for a while, which is nice. Star-Lord, and he's the one that really comes with the boatload of accessories. Uh, two guns, this one which is not held very well at all, and then this one which is held only slightly better. And I think a large reason for that is that the plastic on this, it just, it seems like, you know, it almost seems like you want to chew on it. It's, it's, a, it's a little tougher down in, in the thighs and the, the torso, but like the arms and the hands and the feet and the, the head, it just all seems a little squishy. So anyway, you got these two, two guns and we got some paint on them. And you know, I'm a big fan of, of throwing paint on accessories. It's rarely done. And it comes with the Infinity Stone ball, which he doesn't really hold. So, pretty worthless. And then he has a satchel, but there's nowhere to open it up to put it in. So, um, this is just waiting to get lost, is what that is. And then he's got his uh, Walkman, which it doesn't really seem in scale. And I'm, I'm nitpicking, but... Um, he will hold that fairly nicely. And then we got a set of headphones so that he can dance around and make kids laugh. And they'll go both on this head and his alternate head. Fairly nicely. The head's just pop off and it's a ball peg on a hinge and then you can put that one on and, and it goes on fairly nicely so articulation wise we know that already ball hinges for shoulders um, that work pretty well bicep swivel which you know they always got a hard time with that because of the the fabric of the coat so if you turn it at certain angles it you know starts to look a little goofy and then we got a double hinged elbow and this such a soft plastic that it's just you know it's almost hard to even put in service but you can get it and you get all that out of it and then we got a hinged swivel for the wrist same on the other side the coat is a soft plastic which is you know, acceptable. And then this satchel here, this Merce, if you will, is a soft plastic as well. And floating. Let's see if the ab crunch. You don't really get anything out of the ab crunch. So it's kind of, you can get down, but it doesn't ratchet fully. And you can't really get up. So kind of worthless. And we got one, uh, T ball jointed hips, some paint mishaps there, thigh swivel, double jointed knee, which gets you anything you could possibly want when you're doing his dance routines, and then 
hinged ankles with a rocker that works pretty nicely um, you do get a little bit of paint accents down there and the coat is washed obviously um, even though because of the soft plastic it, you know it kind of works you know I, I could I could I could rip into this thing if I wanted to but it kind of works you know and it also kind of looks like you know somebody spilled an ink pen on it but it kind of works uh, the molding is nice you get some nice detail in there and like all that like you know you don't need all that but they did it so that's nice and there's some pretty good detail down in there and you know overall that's nice the the articulation is hindered by the trench coat um, but that's kind of the cost to doing business with this guy. M my main complaint with this fella is, you know, like, it just seems flimsy flamsy. Is it me? I don't know. Um, I will say that this whole line, the, the, the face likenesses, they're really, they really seems like they're taking that to heart. Um, there's some really nice painting detail on this head as well. You know, you got one, two, three different paint apps, you know, plus the hair, four, five, with the skin tone. So, you know, how often do you get five paint apps on one piece of plastic, especially from Hasbro? I'd say rare, rare if ever. Next up is Nova. I have really mixed feelings about this guy. He's one of my favorites overall, just because I really love the metallic blue paint and how that kind of comes across. And there's a lot of things about him that I like. I like, like, his silhouette, you know. But he's also flimsy, and the plastic seems soft, and um, he's loose. I, 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 you know, if you're if you're a Marvel Legends guy, I'm sure that some of this is, re, you know, re repainted because I can't imagine it'd be this loose if it was a new mold, like especially the arms. But anyway, head is on a ball hinge. Um, so back and forth, and then all around you get everything you could really want, even with the helmet. Nice thing about the helmet is you got the white eyes in there, which is nice, and then you got the little symbol there, which is okay. I think I would have liked the metal, more of the metallic look for the, like if that matched up a little better. It almost seems like two tones there. I'm not sure. Uh, shoulders, some extra little detail. These hinge up, you know, which allow you to get, you know, the arms up as 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 much as you need on the uh, ball hinge. So that's pretty cool. And then bicep swivel. This one is super loose. Um, this one's a little bit better, for sure. Double hinged elbows. And it's the same thing that soft plastics up in here. And eesh, I don't know. I don't. I don't care for that. Hinged swivel wrist, and then this piece here is glue. Oh no! It's you see it. It's uh. It's glued on, and uh, it's it's cool. You got the the blue ring on the outside of the white ring, so you know the paint. They they did it seems like they took it to heart. This is uh, all metallic blue paint that looks really nice. Ab crunch. You get one click back, and then you kind of you can go pretty. Yeah, you can get a fair amount out of that. I'm okay with that. Waist swivel soft plastic here so it won't hinder it which is nice t-jointed ball for joints for hips thigh swivel double jointed knee getting you most anything you could want ankle tilt or ankle tilt and rocker and then these are soft plastic but they're locked in place as well um, but because everything is just so flimsy and the tolerance there's a little off of those ratchets it's hard to get him to stand you know like his his his, his hips there you go like that worked but like I, I was fighting with him earlier to start like his hips have a and if your his legs aren't standing straight you know like you see that if they're not standing straight up and down if you try to put them out to the side they'll he'll usually like start to do a split on you but of course now i'm trying to show you so he's, he's working well but Oh, trust me, believe me when I say when I tell you that uh, he was giving me a lot of grief a little earlier, just trying to set him. See, just trying to set him up for the for the intro. So yeah, while I think that aesthetically he looks, 
you know, is one of the strongest. The actual execution of them is maybe one of the weakest. So, uh, I don't know. Oh, you gonna go? Yeah, he's going. Lastly, we have uh, Iron Man. They included him because he's now in the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, in the comics. And what I like about this is that they went with like this comic book aesthetic where they could have used a repainted Iron Man and just shoehorned him in there. But they actually gave him a new mold and, and went with the, the comic book aesthetic. And it's nice that while you know, most, if not all, of these are paying tribute to the movie look and design, that they still were able to, to, to kind of pay some tribute to the comic. Now, I'll be honest with you. I much rather enjoy the look of the comic over the over the the movie. Like I love Gamora's look and like the more simple look of Drax I kind of take more kindly to and I like all the lights and stuff and group, but whatever. They're not doing it for me. Let's get into him. Head is on the same type of ball hinge, however it's pretty limited um at least, you know, because of this, the way the plastic comes down on the back side of the head there. We have these things, um, which kind of cleverly they put in little pegs so that you, you can move them about so that it won't hinder articulation too much. But the, mine do pop out a lot. If, if you guys have them, let me know if yours are like that too. Um, and then you get a little bit of a, uh, I guess it's just the, the molding, because the way that the mold is cut, you get a, a little bit more of a crossover, like butterfly effect. And then, loose bicep swivel, double jointed elbows on this soft plastic, and a wrist swivel. And then, a red metallic paint, which really looks rough next to this flat red paint, um, to me. Nice paint abs here on the chest. You get an ab crunch that you get one down, but you get a lot back. So, you know, you can do the flying bit pretty nicely if you had them set up that way. Wrist swivel. T-jointed uh, ball joints for hips that work much better than the other two. Thigh swivel. The metallic paint looks great down here. Double jointed knees, getting you most anything you could want. And then foot ankle tilt and rocker and because the feet are so wide you know he stands like a champ even though he does feel kind of loose loosely put together as well um he stands a lot better because he's got these you know these these big wide hooves um to kind of give him some stability he definitely gets some bonus points for his molding detail there's a lot of line work in there it's kind of a it's not my favorite look of Iron Man, so that's unfortunate that you get all this attention to detail in the, in the mold when the overall design is kind of not for me, but that's not really the toy's fault as much as it is the design's fault, so we'll give them a pass. So I went with these three because they're the weakest of the bunch. We'll get into the stronger ones who aren't without their problems, especially Rocket. Uh, next episode. It's cool to see some more obscure characters. I just I wish they would have gone more with the comic book design. Obviously they wouldn't because the, the movie's the moneymaker at the moment. More importantly, I wish they would have gone with some stronger plastics, some tighter joints, and some, some better overall structure. You know, what, what comes across nicely is the paint and the sculpts and the kind of the overall silhouette or aesthetic of it, and then what suffers is the efficiency of those sculpts you know, being able to stand on a shelf or what have you. Like, these guys are going to be shelf diving all over the place. I know it. I'll be picking them up forever. Uh, more importantly, my, my daughter was very confused by this set. She's, she obviously doesn't know who these characters are and was, was very disgusted at my, my recent choice. What in the world are you looking at? I'm looking at the Guardians of the Galaxy figures. I don't like those, and the raccoon stresses me out. Everybody loves the raccoon. Oh, you think you could do better? She can take off her cape. Her elbows actually move, and her, I forget what that is, and I think her, her wrist can move, her legs can, her knees can, and her feet can. Her name is Emma Frost. She is Crystal. This is when she turns into Crystal. 
And an easier way to put her cape back on is to get her hair out of the way and put her like this. And then you could put the cape on. Hold on one second. And there she is back in her cape. And this part might look a little crystally, and the back of the part might look a little whitish. Oh. My. God. What's the matter, Father? I would say that if you're a completionist, pick him up. If you're really into the movie, then, you know, definitely pick up the Star-Lord. But, uh, he's definitely not my favorite. Of these three, if I had to pick one to go with, it'd be Nova and the other two, you know, kind of take or leave. But, uh, obviously, you, everybody wants a Guardians of the Galaxy set, which is fine. I just rather would have gone with this Guardians, personally. I just like the way they look better. I think they look a little bit more interesting. This looks a little bit more hodgepodgey to me, with the exception of Nova, who looks pretty spot on. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Till next time, take care. We'll have the other half on Thursday.